here. And let's see here. What's what is the next one? It's the uh, it's that one out of uh, Austria, isn't it? Out of Pinskau. Pinskau. Pinskau is that is that that's a city in Austria? Yes. Oh, okay. Sagen Sie das klasse. Pinskau. And this one's called the Pinskauer Borischer. Uh huh. <laughs> the um, the name of the dance, Pinskauer Borischer, tells a little bit about what's going on with the dance. Pinskau, as you now know, is the name of a town. Borischer is the Austrian word for Bavarian. This would suggest that somebody from Pinskau on a trip to Bavaria for business or whatever happened to be there at a time that there was a festival, maybe a wedding or something else, and the people were dancing and doing what they normally do. Well, as it happens, this Austrian gentleman saw something that he liked and thought, I want to do that myself. So he brought it back to his village when he returned, put together a dance, and gave credit to the origin, which is the Bavarians, or the Borischers. So the dance is called Pinskauer Borischer. But the Austrians love to do things with their dances, not just the, the moving of the feet, uh, moving with your partner. They like to add other things, the original multimedia. They like to sing with their dances, and clap with their dances. This particular one has several different types of claps that are used as an integral part of the dance. So, from Austria, the Pinskauer Borischer. And that was the Pinskauer Borischer. Let's hear it for the Volkstanz Gruppe. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, there we go. Yeah, a couple of different angles there. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I guess that wasn't for me. Okay. Let's see. Where were Oh, the next one is a waltz, isn't it? A minuet waltzer? Is that right? That's correct. Uh, this dance is a newer dance. Uh, the name minuet refers to the minuet, as you would expect or you uh, have heard about that it was done in England. Well, the minuet was done actually in the courts during the late 1700s. Uh, and there were courts in Germany as well as there were in England and France and uh, many other regions throughout Europe. This dance, though, was originally written in the 1920s when there was a movement among the young people to create a new identity for themselves. 
much like is happening today and happened 20, 30 years ago. Every once in a while, people decide they have to have their identity back again. Well, this was a, a revival in the interest in German heritage, German culture, German dance. And it's called, uh, the, the dances that were written in are called Jugendtänze, and uh, it's you know, named after that particular movement. This dance reflects back on the courts and the court dances. So the style of the dance, the sound of the music is very different from the folk dances like you've just seen. And uh, the, uh, I say, that it's not that, uh, how do you say, happy style that uh, the folk dances have, the lively style. This is serious style, like you would expect to see in a court. This is Minuet Walter. Ladies and gentlemen, these folks tanz groupie. Okay, wunderbar. All right, now now's the time you've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's it's been hard for you to sit there and watch these people dance, knowing how much fun it is, and thinking I'd like to do that myself. And this is the time. When I am going to dance, I've even brought in a partner, especially so that I could dance. And I would like all of you now to uh, get right on up and gr grab yourself a partner. And it doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl or any of that kind of thing. Because we all, we, uh, all that matters is that we all need a partner. But you don't, you, actually, you don't have to get up yet because we're going to tell you about the dance first. Then, then we'll find out about that. Okay, wh what's the name of this dance? This uh, first dance is called... Hirten model. Hirten model. Sagen Sie das. Hirten model. Yeah, looks like Hirten model. Sounds like Hirten model. <laughs> it's a Bavarian dance. Yeah, the, that means the farm girl. See, Mädchen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh huh. Yeah, we're speaking all Deutsch. Oh, do they? Yeah, they speak in Deutsch, yeah. Oh, yeah, we speak in a little bit Deutsch. Would you prefer that I 
talk about the dances in German or in English? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. This uh, dance that we're going to do right now, that we're all going to do right now. And you. And you. Yeah. Me. Me too. Yeah. Uh, this is called the Hirtha model. This is a uh, dance from Bavaria. Yeah. Oh, I do. I've got a partner right here. <laughs> no, it's not the maintenance guy this time. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's even blue German. Yeah. 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 German. yeah. Uh, so this dance is from Bavaria, and as you can tell by the name of the dance, it sounds and spelled a little bit different than the uh, the Hochdeutsch that you're learning. That's their dialect. But this dance is done very commonly at uh, oh weddings or festivals. Anytime the people want together to get together to enjoy each other, to enjoy the music, to enjoy the food, to have fun. So this is a fun, it's a social dance it's for people to get together. So it's time for you to get together with somebody. Stehen Sie auf, stehen Sie auf, ja? Suchen Sie einen Partner? It doesn't matter if you're dancing two ladies together, two men together. Everybody can do this uh, and we'll have some uh, rules of contact here in a few minutes. But first of all, what I want you to do is take two hands with your partner, which is just two hands. But uh -oh. well, let, let's, let, let's first join hands in one big circle. A big circle? Well, as big as we can make it. Now, hold on only to your partner, and then turn so that you're facing counterclockwise. All right? Now, with this dance, you're going to walk forward Eight steps. Go. Walk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can count to eight, right? Nine. We can we, we can do it in German as well. Yeah. Ready? Go. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht. All right. Now, first rule of the game, I count, you do it. Ready? One more time. Go. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht. Next part, what you're going to do is you're going to stick one foot out, and it, it's kind of hard to see, but you just point one foot and step on it, point the other foot and step on it, okay? And, and then you're going to turn, face your partner, take two hands, and with four steps, you're going to walk all the way around, and then point your foot again. So let's try that with the point of the foot. Ready? Go. Point and point, turn, one, two, three, four, and point, and point, and Turn, two, three, four. The dance starts from the beginning. Let's do the whole thing. Hochschitten. Go. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, point. Eins, and zwei, turn. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, point. And zwei, turn. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. That's all there is. Now. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll, <laughs> here, let me just help out here. All you're doing is you're taking eight steps forward, right? Okay. Then you're going to stop and you're going to go like this. Point, back, point, back. Okay. Right? And then you just take your partner and go around with once. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. Now, normally this dance would be done in an open ballroom position, which is like this. If you have a problem getting this close to your partner, you can just hold hands. But this is the proper way to do it. So if you're up to it, this is the position you'll do the dance in through the whole dance. So that's it. Here we go. Oh, music. Uh, music. 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 All right. Are, are you ready? Music Meister. Are you ready, folks? OK, here we go. Now there will be an introduction before we start. Ready, walk. I am spy, drive, fear, full, back, leave, and lock, point. I am spy, turn. I am spy, drive, fear, and point. Spy, three, and I am spy, drive, walk, walk. Thank you. 
Let's hear it for the, uh, what was that one called? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. woo! Yee-hee! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the next one called here? Can I say? Yeah. That was, uh, Hitch, I think. Hitch that, that was the Hirton Hir model. Zongzas, Hirton model. Hirton model. Okay, the next one is the Krebs Polka. Guess what Krebs means? How'd you guess? Man, I'm telling you, I've, I've said it before, I'll say it again. This has got to be the <laughs> most intelligent class I've ever had. Look at it. Yeah. From Richel Middle School. All right. Now, let's see. So the Krebs is next, right? Yes. And uh, you're going to, okay, let's go ahead and learn the steps here. I've got the tape ready. This dance is done in, uh, not only in Bavaria, but throughout most of Germany. So, uh, Again, it's a social dance. People do it to get together, to have fun, to enjoy each other. So, inside hand again. Going to walk forward with, oh, I'm sorry, two hands. Oh, oh. Two hands, two hands. <laughs> yeah? We're not dancing this time, are we? Yes, yes. of course yes. you are. Every time. Come on. I let you Come on, you're young. <laughs> You've got all the energy in the world. Okay, so everybody with two hands. You're going to go in that same counterclockwise direction with two sideways steps that are kind of slow. So you're going to go one, one and two. two. Now you're going to do three of them a little bit faster. Go one and two and three and stand. Okay? So now you've got the combination two slow, three fast with a stamp. Ready? And side and two quick. One, two, three, stamp. One more time. Ready? And side and two, quick. One, two, three, stamp. Now you're going to go the other direction with seven quick ones. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No stamp. Okay? You only do the stamp going the first direction. Let's do that all. Slow first. And. Hey, wh Oop. Why don't you turn off your microphone to be sure you, can, you guys can hear. All right. Slow. Slow and two, quick. One, two, three, stamp the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do it again. Slow and slow, quick. One, two, three, and stamp seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. That's it. Did you, did you get it? Oh, that's not it? Oh, okay. I'm well, that's the first part of this dance, but now it's a good time to explain what's happening with the dance. You know the name and what it means. This is the crayfish dance. If you've ever watched a crayfish in the water, they move kind of slow through the water. If they see something they want, they can move quickly, but only a short distance. If you scare them like with a stamp or a loud noise, they go the other way very fast. So you're imitating this movement of the crayfish. So now that we've done that part, we understand what it's all about. The second part of the dance, you're simply going to hook elbows with your partner and take eight steps in one direction and then go back the other way and do it again. 
and you can follow that. Are there any questions before we do it? Okay. Well, well, we'll go through the whole thing. You do it with us, and I'll tell you about it as we go. Uh, inside, or two hands with your partner going sideways. Go slow and slow, quick. One, two, three. Stamp the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do it again. Slow and slow, quick. One, two, three, and stamp the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're gonna hook elbow. Turn, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight. the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you go the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the other way, one, two, three, four, face your partner, two hands, and you're going to start all over again, ready for music, let's do it, let me hear you say, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Let's hear it for the Krebs Polka. Oh. 